Bashaw is a uh, is a Punjabi kid. Like, still loves his Punjabi music and wants to mix them with the new generation, the new hip hop generation, and you know, you know, bring that Punjabi hip hop to America and you know, let American people know, you know what Punjabis are about. My name is Sucha Basha. I'm a Punjabi rapper. I'm signed by War International Records, and I work with Hotbox Music Productions as well. Punjabi is a religion. It's a culture. It's a way of living. And, uh, it's just it's just what's in my blood and uh, you know what's in my music. The main difference between Punjabi culture and English culture is that uh, traditions and values. Right here in uh, America, basically, you know, it's okay for somebody you know to show some certain types of scenes on camera. Where in India, that would be disrespectful to the religion. It's a different mentality as well, but uh, Punjabi is getting to that stage where you know. It's kind of getting okay for her, for them, you know, allow that stuff going on now. As I see it, I'm the only Punjabi artist right now, and probably probably the world that's doing Punjabi gangster rap that are using cuss words in my songs. And uh, other artists don't do that because, uh, like I said, different different virtues in India. If you do that in India, use cuss words in your song, you know, they're gonna get at you. They're not gonna let your songs hit the stores or whatever whatever the case may be. But uh, I'm starting that trend and I'm gonna bring that trend little by little to India and you know, we'll see where it goes. Growing up in India, you know, we lived in poverty basically, you know, uh, the ghetto of India. And uh, when we moved over here, we moved to uh, Fresno, California and uh, lived over there for about four or five years and then uh, moved to Orange County in 2000. Well, the biggest, the biggest challenge I had when I first got over here was uh, to learn English. And uh, I had never spoken English in my life before, but so you know, just started uh, watching cartoons or whatever, you know, trying to get help, trying to get the hang of that. You know, out here, trying to find Indian people is, you know, it's it was pretty hard back then, cause you know, and uh, where I where I grew up, Fresno, you know, it's like 90% of the population was Hispanic. I got very fond of music at a young age, probably at the age of eight. I started listening to all this Punjabi music, and then like. By the time I was 11, I started writing Punjabi lyrics, and uh, by the time I was 16, I actually started, you know, starting to learn how to make music. And I had uh, quite a few mu musical influences, uh, the old school uh, Punjabi singers, like for instance, uh, Kuldeep Manak, you know, people like that. And, uh, you know, I just started writing songs, and when I came to America, I saw the hip hop. You know, I saw Dr. Dre's beat, I saw Snoop Dogg, Tupac, and all that stuff. And, you know, I also wanted to start, you know, listen to that more. So, you know, I thought about it. I thought about conjoining the two. And, you know, I just came out with a Punjabi rap, and, you know, that's what I'm doing now. Valley Crew Productions is a company that I started about three years ago, music production company. I want to do all my own beats, and I uh, want to do everything that I can to push my music out there, and only me do it not somebody else claiming that, you know, I stole their stuff, so that's why I started my own music when I was Food Productions. Before performing, you know, you always get those butterflies, you know, always, you know, it's like, it's like you're about to get in a fight, you know, you get that knot in your stomach, but once you're on stage and you see the crowd, you know, it's just, it's just like, you know, just easy from there, you know, you just keep, keep going with the crowd's flow, you know, if they're digging it, keep going harder, if they're not digging it, keep pushing it through until you're done. The thing that uh, inspired me to do my own thing and you know start doing my own music was probably the way that I grew up, from uh, fighting poverty all the way to coming to America, you know becoming uh, becoming an alien basically, you know in a foreign country and you know I just wanted to improve, be better for myself, my family and you know for my friends. You know if I make it, you know everybody else is gonna make it. So that that's inspiring me up till now still. People knew that knew about my rap, knew about this guy. You know does Punjabi rap and you know he keeps it real and stuff. And I didn't make money off of that. That still be cool with me. Most satisfying thing to me as an artist is, uh, I would say, the appreciation of my music. If I did a song and uh, people appreciate that I did it and they liked it, you know, that there's some. This is definitely something I can listen to in my car, you know, at home. Or if somebody say, hey, you know, I, I was feeling down. I listened to one of your songs. You know, it made me feel a lot better. Above all, that's what matters to me the most. I think I noticed about today's music that it's all about money nowadays. It's not about what people feel and what people think like it used to be back in the days. People would write a song because, you know, that's how they felt at the time they wrote the song. And, you know, a lot of people can relate to that. Now people write songs and they only write it because, you know, it bangs in the clubs and stuff. You know, it's because what people want to hear and what wakes the money, you know, it's not what they're feeling. So as an artist, I want to bring that out. And I think that's what some of my raps are all about. 
like my rap Rabba Dear God, you know, it's what people are going through, people that are into drugs, what they're going through, it's about them. You know, I'm bringing, I'm bringing what's actually going on in Punjab, what you guys been through every day of your lives. You know, all you, all you people that are going through rough times, you know, I've been there, I've done that, and I'm bringing that shit out. It might have some bad words in it, but sometimes life's a bad word itself. If I had a superpower, I probably would want the power to fly. I would love to fly, you know, be an Indian in like two seconds. The show's over there. <laughs>
that I used to be Is this still my home? What did I used to be? I made my home What did I used to be?